What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at why the end of season one proves that VV's NFTs are here to stay. But before we do this, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing if you're new around here. So in this video, we're essentially going to be going over and reviewing some of the significant news that came out of in season one, why it was impactful, looking at VV's position within the NFT marketplace as a whole, and how I believe that what happened within this season proves the concept of NFTs and proves why VV is going to have such a dominant stance when moving forward within this marketplace. Uh, but before we do this, I can't touch on every single piece of news because this video will quite literally go on forever. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll look at the significant things that I believe point out why this marketplace is going to be so huge and why VV NFTs are here to stay. So the first thing we'll look at is the total amount of burn that's happened. We've had over 4 billion different Akomi tokens burn within this season one, demonstrating how impactful this has actually been. And the reason I say this is because it's actually, it's translated into 526,000 different units sold. That's different NFTs been purchased within Vivi in their first, in their, in their first season, which is incredible to think about how many NFTs that actually is for such a new concept. I mean, you can't actually go into the marketplace and purchase anything right now unless you're going onto the secondary market because of how, how in demand these products are. And I know from a collector's point of view, this can be quite frustrating, but from a business standpoint, this demonstrates how impactful this brand has actually been, how big the VV marketplace is going to be long term, because they're able to drive huge amounts of sales and huge units sold for these brands as they get introduced into VV. And in the coming seasons, we'll see uh, how this will move into millions of different units sold for VV's marketplace. And another key aspect I want to touch upon here is we've got 38,000 different people that have purchased gems within the marketplace, demonstrating their, the, how many collectors there actually are within the NFT marketplace or within VV's marketplace right now. You know, this I believe this number is going to be well over 38,000 38, now because it's not been updated recently. So we can see that with over 250,000 downloads of the application up to this point, and there being easily over 40,000 different people that have purchased gems uh, showing that intention to be a collector, we can actually see that the conversion rate over now, we can assume on conservative uh, conservative numbers, that 10 to 15% of people that come into the application actually go on to collect the, the, uh, the NFT itself, which is an incredibly impactful number. It, it allows us to be able to see forward thinking scope and just further demonstrates why season one has been so great and so impactful for Vivi moving forward. The next thing I want to touch upon is Ecomi as a whole. You know, we've seen 86,000, over 86,000 followers come into the VV uh, Twitter page, demonstrating their growth, demonstrating how impactful season one has been, you know, closing on 100,000 different followers on the Twitter page, uh, just showing what this brand is capable of doing and how moving forward, you know, we've been in beta. This is the majority of season one has literally been beta and we're nearly touching 100,000 followers on the Ecomi page. This brand or, and VV is, has been within season one has demonstrated and proven time and time again within their launches why this brand is here to stay and why NFTs as a whole is going to be is going to be sticking around long term. We can also go over to the actual VV page itself. 40,000 different followers sort of correlating within the, the, the previous point I made about over 40,000 people collecting the VV collectibles. This just demonstrates again why this brand has been so impactful. You know, and as we continue to move forward, we'll see uh, more collectors jumping into this space because season one has just proven this concept and season two and season three will be just exciting. Another point I just want to touch upon here as well is that VV are carbon neutral NFT as well, just showing their intention to, uh, of their long-term intention uh, to pioneer 100% carbon neutral NFTs, showing their, uh, their, their sort of consideration to the environment, which is extremely important, especially when we consider how impactful uh, sometimes uh, this technology can be on the environment as a whole. Another point I want to touch upon as well is that, you know, we had the Uniswap launch. You know, that was a significant part in uh, in, a, in a Komi and Vivi's journey within season one. And now it almost feels like the Uniswap launch was so long ago when it actually really wasn't. It was just over a month ago. 
Um, but this just demonstrates my point. You know, we're launching into different uh, into different exchanges. It looks like we've got four more exchanges going to be coming in the in the pipeline within this month. Just showing uh, uh, Vivi and Akomi's ability to be able to break out into different areas of exchanges to demonstrate they, that they want to grow and they want to become bigger and they want to become more impactful moving forward, which just shows how how incredible season one has been when we look at the overall picture that's being painted right now. The next thing I want to touch upon here is the rise of Ultraman. I thought this rise of Ultraman 2D comic art was significant. I did touch on a video uh, that I created on my channel. So if you want to go and have a look at this, uh, go and reference it inside of my channel. Um, I think this was a very big play for VV, demonstrating that diversity and why they want to break out into different market sectors within the overall NFT marketplace. As a whole, uh, this was a significant moment for me. I think we'll see many more 2D art coming out from Vivi. And I, I thought the actual artwork itself was beautiful. I think they were able to demonstrate, uh, especially in the demand and the way they sold out this particular launch, how they're able to break into this 2D art sector and do it in a very successful and impactful way. The next thing I want to touch upon here is that they've had over a hundred different licensed brands released, and here was just a different sort of set, a different amount. They showed, they showed uh, essentially demonstrated the different uh, brands or a little touch on the different brands they're going to be bringing in. Cartoon Network, Sony. I've done a lot of videos touching upon Sony and why I believe they're going to be so impactful for the gamification of VV moving forward. We've got Capcom, DC, uh, CBS, Star Trek. I mean. Just showing and demonstrating that even though season one we've seen some incredible different NFTs launched in the form of Batman, in the form of Powerpuff Girls, in the form of um, um, a Harley Quinn, we have got so many more brands here to cut uh, in, in the pipeline that are going to be released in season two, season three. Um, and so just demonstrating Vivi's uh, purpose and intention to continue to grow this marketplace and why season one has really been so successful in, in showing why when we release these other brands into the Vivi marketplace, it's going to be so impactful moving forward long term. The next one we'll look at, which I think was really big news, and I, and I did make a video touch upon this as well, is their partnership with Rogers & Cohen, one of the leading PR firms in the whole of America, one of the most respected PR firms across the world. They've done uh, marketing campaigns for Activision, Justin Bieber, McDonald's. And this is extremely important when we look at season one as a whole. They can use this as a way to justify these partnerships now. You know, when you look at success, the fact that every single NFT is sold out right now within the marketplace, um, it, it justifies their marketing edge, how they're going to be able to break into uh, into mainstream media using uh, this, this PR firm, uh, demonstrating the demand through over half a million different units sold and making this, in my opinion, one of the most critical pieces of news as we've seen for long term growth of Vivi. I know it wasn't touched upon much because people didn't maybe people didn't quite understand how impactful this was. So if you didn't, then be sure to ref, uh, go through the, uh, the other videos I got on my channel where I reference why this was so important and why this partnership will be huge for VV moving forward. The next thing I want to touch upon here, which I think was really big news, was the introduction of, of Trevor into the VV, uh, into the VV uh, sort of team, into the, into the uh, VV, VVverse, and their intention really to go on and, and gamify and, and show their hand as they, uh, as they continue to develop uh, more usability and more utility around the VV application and right around the VV NFTs. I think Trevor is going to be a significant player and a very, very important role when we look at the, the forward thinking uh, actions within the gamification of VV. Uh, if you haven't watched his interview, that is a really, really great interview that he did for over an hour. I think it was just about an hour and 15 minutes long, uh, sort of going over different areas of, of what he wants to touch upon, uh, grounding people in terms of the uh, overall vision of, of VV, being more realistic, but also showing and demonstrating where they want to be uh, in the future in reference to the VVverse and the different gamifications they want to bring along. So if you haven't seen that, I'll also link that in the description below. Uh, so you guys can reference that uh, that interview because I couldn't summarize that because so many different things were pointed out. Um, and then lastly, or second from last, I just want to touch upon uh, this point here. Vivi has been, or Omi has been, the fourth largest uh, growing altcoin within this cryptocurrency space with a 15,000% growth since it's, well, uh, in this particular bull run or since its inception in, two, well, uh, since 2021, sorry. This is incredibly important to keep in mind. They have grown 
a humongous amount and this is because of their nfts people get so focused on price when it's actually the nft itself that demonstrates why this this brand and why vv's marketplace has been so impactful they have sold over half a million units and it's so important to push this point along we were in beta for majority of this and yet they were still able to essentially uh, show and demonstrate why they are going to be the biggest brand and the biggest leading marketplace for NFTs. And seeing a 15,000% gain is not because of the hype around OMI, it's because of the way they deliver and the way their NFTs are positioned and the brands they're bringing into this. Vivi is the heart of, of, of OMI. It is the heart of this company. And, and for us to focus on this is more important than looking at this overall price gain. But I thought it was important to sort of demonstrate why uh, we've seen a 15,000% per, uh, gain. Omi is here to stay. Season 1 has proven this concept. And Vivi is going to be one of the largest marketplaces moving forward for NFTs. And the final point I want to touch upon here is we've got 114,000 holders of, of, of Okomi proving that people believe in this vision, demonstrating why uh, I believe this is going to have an incredible long-term uh, play within the NFT market and why VV, uh, VV Season 1 has, has brought over 100,000 different holders to this coin right now, demonstrating people's belief in what VV can achieve. So I hope this video has been useful to you. I'm going to leave that here and leave this point here. Season 1 has proven why VV's collectibles are going to be impactful moving forward. Um, if you haven't seen and haven't watched any of my videos on why I believe that going into season two or looking at the different brand breakdowns I've done uh, for future brands coming in, season two is going to be huge. It's going to be even more impactful than season one. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider dropping a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.